Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, for the second tutorial in this series, we're going to be working on creating a solid save path for your project in After Effects. That way, you can always have your files and all of your assets for your project in one place, and they'll never go missing or unlinked or anything like that. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell you it's extremely important to have a file origin with every single asset in the project in the folder, and then you won't have any mess where you're going to have to go finding every file throughout your computer to try to recover everything in the project. Real quick, I would like to just apologize for the, uh, the raspiness, almost if you will, of my voice, you know. I've, uh, I've been training for this marathon, and you know, all this grunting and working out and everything, it's just taking a toll on my vocal cords, so yeah, if I have to run six more miles again in the span of two hours, I just might, I just might not be able to speak anymore. So either that, or I am actually just a little sick, but you know, one of those two things is true. All right, so go ahead by opening your Finder window, or if you're on Windows, obviously, Windows Explorer, and you're gonna select the location where you want to uh, save your project and create this folder. So for me, I'm just gonna choose my desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder, just like that. I'm gonna call this um, Test Folder, and I'm gonna go ahead and go inside of here. And there's a couple things I wanna do when I'm making this project path, that way I can know where everything is and keep everything organized in a solid way. Um, what I'm going to do is create four subfolders in here. Three and four. And um, untitled folder is kind of a dumb name, so let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to change the first one to project, the second one to video, the third one to graphics, or you can do graphics slash assets, and the fourth one to audio. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little asterisk in front of the project so it stays at the top here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the project folder. I'm going to create two more subfolders. One's going to be After Effects, just like that. And the other, one's, the other one is going to be Renders. So now we have four folders inside this one folder and two folders inside the project folder. And now the other folder is set up, it's time to actually create the project. So I'm going to go ahead and open After Effects. Okay, now that we're inside of After Effects, I'm gonna go ahead and make a project here. So I've got just a couple assets here, just a picture and an audio file I'm just gonna drag in. And you can see what's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Finder back up and I'm gonna drop down my test folder, my test project. Inside of my uh, graphics and assets, I'm gonna drop the picture. Inside of the audio file, I'm gonna drop in the audio folder. And you're gonna notice something here it brings up a warning that says files cannot be found. Two missing files, the picture and the mp3 file. So what are we going to do about that? Well, the only reason they became unlinked, and if I drop them in the composition, it's just bars and tone, you know? And the way to fix that is I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. And what I'm going to do is now that these are actually in the folder, this is the first step you want to take, is you want to take any assets you have and drop them in whichever folders they belong. So obviously MP3s, waveforms should go in the audio file, and any pictures or vectors or any sort of image file should go in graphics or assets. And in video is where you're going to obviously drop your video. So the first thing I'm going to do is, now that those are in there, just like that, now what I can do is navigate to the project window in After Effects. I'm going to double click here and it's going to open up the uh, file explorer, or the finder. And we go inside that folder, inside audio, I'm going to choose that audio file. And inside that uh, graphics or assets folder, I'm going to choose the image. And now those are in here. So you'll see the reason why this is important is if for any reason you're dropping footage into the project off of an SD card or off of a hard drive, and you're plugging it, you're, you're taking it out and moving it and doing a bunch of stuff with it, you know, that footage is not going to be linked to the project anymore and you can see that because if I take these out and move them somewhere else they're not found again. What if I go ahead and drop those back in here and they're still not going to be found because they weren't in their original folders so this can go here and this can go here and now they're still not going to be found. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on uh, either of these and you go to reload footage and it says one additional item has been found but um, it actually did restore both of them. Great, so now that those are in there, and they're also in our test folder here, or whichever project folder you're gonna have, there's nothing to worry about because they're gonna stay, and they're gonna stay there forever, and for any additional piece of footage or any asset you bring in, you're gonna wanna drop it into that folder. 
And when you go ahead and save your project, this is the most important step. You're going to click Save. It's going to bring up the Save window. I'm going to call it Test Project. And I'm going to come to my Test folder. I'm going to go to the Project folder, because that's what we're saving, the After Effects project, AEP. And I'm going to come into After Effects. I'm going to click Save. And now this is saved up here. You can see Desktop Test Folder Project, After Effects Test Project AEP. So if I were to bring in this audio file, it may be you know, just two seconds of audio and I added this to the render queue and, you know, changed it to uh, MP3, clicked OK, and outputted it to this folder. The place I'm going to put it is not in the audio folder, not in any of these folders. And the reason it's not going in the audio folder is because it's not a, it's not an asset we brought in um, as an audio file to the project. And it's an asset that we're exporting, that we're rendering from the project. So I'm going to go into the project folder and come into renders and I'm going to click save and once you click render it'll go through and you can see now we have our project as well as the autosave and our render in the folder so this was the original file I just didn't bother renaming it you know we just rendered it out and the great thing about this too is that any autosaves that After Effects actually does will also save inside of this window that you saved the initial file so that's great and that is basically it for this tutorial. Super short, super simple. Um, it's just creating that solid save path so you never lose any of your footage or it becomes unlinked or anything. So next one that we are going to be looking at is actually um, the composition and the timeline. So how to read your composition and the timeline and when you actually import footage, what that might do. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a lot. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.